What's going on guys, it's Snowballer, and today I am here to attempt what KOT4Q called, and I quote, the most impossible rebuild in NBA 2K23, and that is I can only make one trade every time I win a game. And that may not seem super bad, um, but this is the starting roster. If you have not seen Kenny's video on this, this might not be the exact same roster as Kenny's video, but it's similar, we got the same top guys. It's a really hard rebuild. You have to get a fluke win really early in the season to make a an early season trade. Um, I believe I turned off trade deadline, so we will be able to make trades after. Yes, trade deadline is turned off, so we will be able to make trades after the real life deadline. Hopefully we can pick up an early season fluke win and we can make an early season trade. Ooh, okay, so we started off 0-5, um, which I expected. But I didn't expect to be losing by this much. I mean, a 61-point loss to the 76ers. Our closest game, I think, was this one, a 33-point loss. So, yeah, it's not looking great for us. Let's see if we can maybe pick up a win here quick. Yeah, we're 0-13 now, 0-15. There's a win. We beat the Sacramento Kings. Okay. That means we can make a trade. We are 1-15. and 15. Um, And again, Kenny's first win, I think, came against the Suns. If you have not watched his video, I'm shocked. Um, there's no way you haven't seen his video if you're seeing mine. But either way, December 4th was his first win. We won no November 17th. So maybe we will be able to do something here. Paul Mokeski is 27. Daryl Houston or Huston is Kenny called him is 23 and then Carl Washington is 22. I think we pair these young guys up and a first round pick for this year which should have a lot of value. Drew Holiday's here. De'Aaron Fox and Matthew Della Vidova, that's the trade that Kenny made. I I don't know if I want to make the trade that Kenny made though. Here's Ben Simmons, he's a 79 overall but I know if I make him a small forward he will jump up to like an 84-ish, 83-ish, something like that. So we can maybe do that one, Miles Turner, Clay Thompson. I think I like this Drew Holiday and Javon Carter one. I don't want this to be a protected pick though. I don't know what year that was. I think that was 2025. We're gonna do unprotected. Um, See if they accept this deal. They say no, they want a couple seconds. They'll give me a the better first round pick for 2025. We'll, we'll do that since that's gonna be our pick anyway. Um, So we'll do that trade. Now we have a roster of Drew Holiday and Javon Carter. Carter will run our point guard position. Drew Holiday will run our shooting guard position. Now let's sim to this game here. Let's see if we can pick up another win. We do not pick up another win. We did only lose by 10 here to the um, Phoenix Suns. Oh, I need to um, change Drew Holiday's shot tendency. So he's the one taking all the shots. All right, so now let's see if we can pick up another win here soon. Oh, we beat the we beat the Rockets here by two points. They were seven and eighteen now, so they're not a very good team either. We're going to do this deal for Mitchell Robinson and Ryan Archidiakono. We throw in another second round pick, and then Ryan Archidiakono I think is six five ish. Oh, he's only six three, so he's shorter than I thought. Um, but he can probably play. Yeah, he can play small forward. That should be fine then. And then we just need a taller guy to play power forward. We don't have any taller players. Richard Johnson might end up starting for the time being now. We're playing a lot closer. I mean, we put up 138 points against the um, Trailblazers here. Drew Holiday had 52, 48 for Javon Carter, 24 and 21 for Mitchell Robinson. Pretty solid game, just defensively we weren't good enough. I need to um, make sure Mitchell Robinson now is taking some shots. Yeah, because his shot tendency is only at 35. We're going to bump that up to like a 75. That should be fine. Give him some more touches. Make sure he's shooting all his shots from in close. Next are 15 and 19. Okay, let's sim to this um, Nets game then. See if we can... Okay, we beat the... We beat the Utah Jazz. Okay, we can make another trade. Alright, so I'm making this deal. It's Mitchell Robinson on a first and Javon Carter for Chris, or Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and DeLon Wright. Porzingis is a better player than... Um, Mitchell Robinson, so we're gonna add him to the team. He's gonna be taking a bunch of shots as well DeLon Wright is going to be our playmaker probably from the point guard position We still have a 61 starting 
power forward. So we need to get that upgraded soon. And we beat the Knicks. Oh, no, did not stop for me. Okay, we beat the Knicks. Porzingis put up 42 and 20. Okay, we can make one more trade now. And we need to upgrade that starting power forward position. Rocco and Nicholas Batum, two, two NBA caliber players. One can play my small forward position and one can play my power forward position. I think that's going to be the trade that we're gonna end up having to do because there's not much else here. Yeah, we're gonna trade Ryan Archidiakno, David Miller, and a first for Rocco and Nicholas Batum. So now we should have a complete roster of play or a complete starting lineup of players. Boom, so now we got 76, 85, 77, 74, technically 85. Cool, let's see if we can now pick up another win here soon. We beat the Nets as well, wow, okay. Why won't it stop? All right, either way, um, KD, we held him to 27 points. He still shot well. Kyrie, 18 points. Uh, ben Simmons, eight points, five rebounds, seven assists, four steals, dang, okay. But 63 points and 18 rebounds, two steals and three blocks for Chris Stapps Porzingis. If we can get a couple of good players here, there's John Wall. John Wall, then we can trade Devon, Devon, Delon Wright for a power forward. What if we can just do Delon Wright and Nicholas Batum, can we get a point guard and power forward to play? There it is right there, John Wall and Marcus Moore Sr. Batum will be going back to the Clippers. Looks like that's going to be the best trade. Bringing in John Wall and Marcus Moore Sr. And now our lineup is looking pretty solid. 79, 85, 77, 78, 85. I'm happy with it right now. John Wall, Drew Holiday, Rocco, uh, Marcus Morris, and Chris Stapps. Hopefully we can pick up a couple more wins here soon so that we can make a couple more trades because this team is not complete yet. We beat the Pistons now, 40 points from uh, Chris Hapsworth's This was a blowout win. Everybody got to play. That's that's crazy. Uh, John Wall followed up in 31 minutes. That's actually why everyone got to play. And we we're up to 6 and 34, which isn't great, but I'm happy with it. We lose both those games to the Grizzlies. Let's see if we can pick up a win soon. We two point loss to the Warriors. There's one. We won by 12 against the Kings. We can make another trade. Can we get a better star than Drew Holiday? Zach Levine, is that really better? I mean, he's a better scorer, but we have defense going. And Zach Levine is not a great defender. All right, so Rocco, Wally Griffin, and a second for Lonnie Walker and Kendrick Nunn. Oh, we don't need Kendrick Nunn, but Lonnie Walker will be a nice addition. I think he has to play our small forward position now, which he goes up to a 78 at the small forward position, so that's good. Our team looks slightly better now, but we also have another trade piece in Kendrick Nunn. So hopefully our next trade can get us something a little bit extra. Um, probably gonna be upgrading Marcus Morris. Let's see if we can win a couple more games soon. We beat, wow, we really beat the Clippers here. Um, we beat them by a lot, 22, 34, 34 points. Really happy with that. John Wall, another double-double. Three players scored 30 plus for us. Drew Holiday had eight points, but 12 rebounds and 12 assists and five steals. Shot three for 20 from the field and 0 for 11 from three. That's not particularly amazing, but we'll we'll take a win. A win's a win at this point. All right, so I found the trade that I think I'm gonna do. Marcus Moore Sr. and Kendrick Nunn can get me Clint Capella and Justin Holiday. Clint Capella is going to be our center. We're going to be moving Chris Caps Porzingis to our power forward position. And that should provide us with a little bit extra size in the middle. It's not really getting too much. He's just a better overall player. I don't think fit really matters in 2K anyway. So now this is what we got. We got John Wall, Drew Holiday, Lonnie Walker, Chris Tapps, and Clint Capella. Let's see if we can continue to win games. Oh, we beat the Clippers big again. This time we put up 141 points. 41 for John Wall, 19 assists as well with only three turnovers. That's nice. Chris Stapps, 37 points, 14 rebounds, three blocks. 
Drew Holiday, 30 points, 9 rebounds, 12 assists. Clint Capella, 18 points, 20 rebounds, a couple of blocks. And 15, 5, and 5 for Lonnie Walker. I think Lonnie Walker is the, the piece that we have to trade away this time. All right, so there are a couple good trades. Here's Kevin Porter Jr. and Garrison Matthews. Um, another really good trade that I saw was Jared Vanderbilt and Yudoka Azubuki, but we already have a power forward. Vanderbilt could play a small forward, but he's not really that style of player. So I think we're going to be going with this Kevin Porter Jr. and Garrison Matthews one. Uh, KPJ can run our small forward position. Matthews can be a trade asset in the future. We pick up another win here. We ended up beating the Suns by 30 points. John Wall had 28, 6, and 10. 27 and 19 for Porzingis. 23 points for um, Drew Holiday. Capella 17 and 20 and 7 blocks. KPJ 13, 7, and 10. Two wins in a row now for us. That's the first time we've done that, I believe. We are up to 10 and 40, which right now is not where we need to be 10th seed right now is 21 and 28 12 games back we are 23 and a half games back so we're 11 and a half games back from the blazers in 10th this might be the most impossible rebuilding challenge in 2k but i'm here for it this is this has been fun for sure do we want to do this deal here could i do it without giving up are they going to offer it? kpj for moses moody this is probably going to set us back a bit, but Moses Moody does have some solid trade value. I think this is the trade we're going to do. Yep, that's the trade we're going to do. It's probably not going to help us much, but it is what it is right now. All right, so right now we got John Wall, Justin, or Drew Holiday, not Justin Holiday. Moses Moody, Draymond Green, and Chris Epps Porzingis. Garrison Matthews is still on the team, so he's a nice trade asset to have. Can we pick up three in a row? We do. We end up winning by 20 in this one. Good game from... Chris Stapps, but he, no, he didn't foul out. Drew Holiday fouled out in 30 minutes. So some other guys got some playing time here. One more trade to make here. And hopefully we can make a trade that can send us over the top a little bit. We don't have any picks at all. So we're going with out picks for now. We're going to try getting a better small forward using Garrison Matthews and Moses Moody. Here's Pat Connaughton. We also get Precious Achuya to have as a trade asset. If we can get another win, that would be nice to have. Um, I think we're doing this Precious and Pat Connaughton. Precious isn't going to play for us right now, but Pat Connaughton will, and it's slightly better than what we had. And then Precious is going to be a nice trade piece off the bench. See if we can pick up four in a row. Four in a row, folks. This team is for real. Let's see if we can make another good trade here. Precious and Draymond for Jalen Brunson and Isaiah Hardenstein. Um, now we have three guards in our lineup, and they want Pat Connaughton to start over Jalen Brunson. I'm letting Jalen Brunson get some minutes. Drew Holiday is going to have to run our um, three. Hopefully, we can pick up another win. That would be three, or that would be five in a row if we can beat the Sixers here. Can we do it? Yes, we do. 19 point win against the Sixers. We won five in a row, and we get to make another trade. All right, so I found the trade we're going to make. It's going to be Jalen Brunson and Isaiah Hardenstein. Isaiah Hardenstein must have been starting at our 4 or 5, I guess. Um, for Paul George and Jason Preston, Paul George is going to be running our 4. I know he's a shooting guard in the game 2K, but he plays small forward in real life and can definitely play power forward. And now we go on a losing streak. We've lost 4 in a row now, and we pick up a win against the Cavs. I think Pat Connaughton has to go Gary Payton the second and a first. We beat the... Hornets as well. All right, we're adding more defense. Well, I don't know if it's adding defense if you're getting rid of Gary Payton, but we're adding a power forward who can play defense. We beat the Mavs. Another trade's coming. I feel like there's a lot of trades that are going down, so maybe I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and just give you the rundown of what's been happening. All right, we only made one trade since we last talked. Um, I said I was going to be making some and just give you the rundown, but I think we're trading Drew Holiday here. Um, Drew was the first player that we traded for, I believe. Um, and he's been here ever since, and he has played great. 27 points, 7.5 rebounds, 6 assists, 2.5 steals. But, Bam is going to be an upgrade. Alright, we just made one more trade. We went on a really good win streak here. We are 25-51. and 51. Um, Right now, that... 
How many games are left for us? That puts us... Are we eliminated? No, we actually passed the Houston Rockets. We are one game behind the Kings. But we're six games behind the um, Nuggets. And we only have six games left. So we need the Nuggets to lose every game. We need the Suns to lose every game. And we need to win every game. Our roster is looking a little bit different now. So we got John Wall, Paul George, Jeremy Grant, Chris Tapps Porzingis, and Bam Adebayo with Greg Brown and Udonis Haslam as real players off the bench. Again, we would need to win out and we would need both those teams to lose out in order for us to make the play-in tournament. We've been two in a row. Oh, we can make more trades. What am I doing? I think I want to do that. I think I'm going to trade for Fox. You know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go all out. We have maybe have a shot at making the playoffs. I'm not even sure at this point. We're trading for Ben Simmons, seeing if that's going to do it. All right, so now our rotation is looking like John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, Paul George, Ben Simmons, and Chris Stapps Porzingis. It's over, y'all. It's over. We would need to win. We're five and a half or four and a half games back. We only have four games left. Clippers only have three games left. It's over. We missed it. That's unfortunate. But I still want to make trades if we end up winning, I think. We beat the Trailblazers. See how good this team could become. I don't even think we're making any more trades. Alright, we ended up missing the play-in by five games. We were five games out. Um, 29 and 53. I don't remember exactly what Kenny ended up with, but 29 and 53 isn't terrible. This is definitely fun. I definitely want to do this again, actually. We ended up with a team of Paul George, De'Aaron Fox, Chris Stepps Porzingis, Ben Simmons, John Wall. That's actually a really good team. That team would have made the playoffs had it been the first team in the year. We would have probably been a top three seed top two seed even we could even fight for that one seed but unfortunately we were not able to complete it because everything took too long this is actually maybe the most impossible rebuild that you actually have some control over um because there are rebuilds where you literally do nothing if you guys did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it only takes a couple of seconds and it's completely free it makes a massive difference i would appreciate it a ton if you could go do that also comment if you want me to redo this rebuilding challenge or any other rebuilding challenges you want me to do comment those down below i'll be looking through those uh thank you guys so much for watching it's been snowballer and i'm out